This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. So we're now going to go through and look at irredeemable debts, the first of our three areas of tradable debt that we need to look at to calculate KD. We'll say redeemable debt and convertible debt until a little bit later on. Hey, okay. Uh, so irredeemable debt is probably the easier of the three. And the only reason there is because you have a formula. Okay, it's great, isn't it? Okay, you've got a formula, plug the numbers in, and you get the answer on your calculator. Okay, so it's the cost of debt is equal to the interest multiplied by one less the tax charge divided by the price X interest. Uh, if you're wondering where that comes from, it comes from the IRR of the future cash flows. Uh, you will not need to derive the formula within the exam. It will be given to you. You just need to go through there and put the numbers in. However, as we have a little bit of time, uh, and just to help you recap a little bit of IRR and how it works and what it aims to do, let's go through and take our introduction from earlier on where we looked at the cash flows and add to that our price. Okay, so we can put in today P0, can't we? Because if I issue debt today, the money that I receive, the proceeds is effectively what I think the debt is worth, which is its market value, isn't it? So at T0, you have the, the market value. And what we need to go through and do now is discount those cash flows at years one, two, three, and right the way into infinity, discount them back to present value at KD to work out the price. But we're not trying to work out the price because we know the price. We know the interest. We know the tax rate. We're trying to work out KD, aren't we? And KD is the IRR of the cash flows. So what you've got there is if I go through and take my time period, if I go through and then look at my cash flows, my discount factor, which is the, at the cost of debt, and my present value. Okay, uh, T0, I have my cash flow at P0 and my discount factor at T0, as always, is 1, isn't it? Uh, from T1 to infinity, I have my interest multiplied by the tax charge less 1, okay, uh, divided by, is it? one over the cost or multiplied by one over the cost of debt okay uh, what you should then have is the interest multiplied by the tax charge less one divided by the cost of debt that should in an IRR calculation be zero isn't it because the KD uh, that IRR figure uh, is discounting the future cash flows to be equal to what the market value is. Okay, so the market value is equal to the discounted cash flows, so the difference between them must be nil, mustn't it? Okay, uh, so taking that on board, then what you've got is P0 uh, plus the interest multiplied by the tax charge less 1 divided by KD equals zero, doesn't it? Okay. Uh, we can go through there and multiply everything by KD, can't we? Uh, and then what you've got is you can take the interest figure to the other side, can't we? Now, just be careful that when you take the interest and the tax, it twists itself around, doesn't it? Because we change the sign. Okay. Uh, so you have there the interest multiplied by one less the tax rate. And then based upon that, the cost of debt is the interest multiplied by one less the tax rate divided by the price. Okay. So there you go. That's your formula. That's where it comes from. Uh, you don't need to derive that within the exam. It's just a bit of a demonstration to see that these formulae that we are creating do actually come from somewhere. Okay. 
So you've got a formula there. You could go through and use that formula in the next example and then have a look at the video as we then debrief it. So have you had a go at the example, Bobby? Did you get, I think, is it 6.25%? If you did, excellent. You don't need to watch the video, do you? If not, uh, then by all means, let's give you your undivided attention and see how we get that 6.25%. Uh, so what you've got there on the example is it Bobby. Uh, you can see there that it wants us to work out, is it the cost of debt? So KD. Uh, and it says, you know, we have irredeemable loan notes. So if you have irredeemable loan notes, you jump for joy. Hallelujah. Because you can use the formula. Okay. Uh, so what you've got there is it says Bobby has 10% irredeemable loan notes. So that there will help you work out the interest, won't it? So the coupon interest is there at 10%. And remember, they are quoted as a block of 100 the benches, each one at $1. So the par value or nominal value for that block is $100. So the interest is there at $10. Okay. Uh, you're also told that they are quoted at $120 X interest. So here the market value is $120. And then you have, is it the tax rate is there? Is it at 25 percent so we put that into a decimal which is there is 0.25 isn't it so to work out the cost of debt we go through there don't we and take the ten dollars we multiply by one less the 0.25 we divide by the market value x interest which is 120 Obviously, multiply it by 100% to convert it into a percentage. And that gives you 6.25%. It is easy as that. However, what becomes more complicated is when we throw into the questions redeemable debt, convertible debt, and you start to get mixed up between them all. Okay, Key bit that you have to take from the example uh, and any question is if it is irredeemable, so irredeemable, you can use the formula, okay? Uh, as we will see afterwards, if it's redeemable or convertible, 